the Indian star tortoise. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball. Hey, where can it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a turtle we found in the garden. Hi, Leo. I like the markings on its shell. But it's not a turtle. It's a tortoise. Turtles live in the sea, while tortoises live on land. Oh, I see. Can you find more information about this tortoise? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Welcome to the Scrub Forest! Ah, an Indian star tortoise! It's one of the prettiest tortoises I've ever seen, Ranger Rocky! Apart from its beauty, the Indian star tortoise is also gentle and shy. Unfortunately, the peaceful and nature beauty of Indian star tortoises are also the reasons why people like to keep them as pets. And in many countries, it is illegal to keep Indian star tortoises as pets. Illegal? You mean we're not allowed to keep them as pets? Correct, Leo. Though it's not allowed, there are still people who catch these tortoises and sell them around the world. Indian star tortoises get stressed and cold when they are taken away from their home and sent to other countries. Even if an Indian star tortoise survives the journey, its new home may not be suitable for it. Indian star tortoises do not like damp or cold places. They cannot breathe properly in such places. Poor tortoises! Your tortoise must have escaped from its owner and landed up in your garden somehow. You have to bring it back to a place that is dry and warm. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank 
Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a bright and sunny grassland. And on this side is a shady swamp. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a bright and sunny grassland. And over there is a shady swamp. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the bright and sunny grassland so that the Indian star tortoise can breathe properly and find food to eat. Let's go! Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo. There is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. <coughs> Hero, wait for us. Wow, there are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Hmm, now that we have so many tortoises, what should we do with them? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. I see you've rescued many Indian star tortoises. Good job, Junior Rangers. But we don't know where we can find a home for all these tortoises, Ranger Rocky. Natural sunlight is good for the tortoises' shells. It keeps them strong. So if you want to find a home for the tortoises, just look for a dry place with sunlight. Not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but look for a dry place with sunlight. I see. So not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but, but look, look for, for a dry, dry place, place with sunlight. sunlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the tortoises, you have to look for a dry place with sunlight. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the tortoises. Is this a dry place with sunlight? No, it's a pond. So let's continue. What is this? It's a cave, so there's no sunlight. Let's keep looking. Is this a dry place with sunlight? It's dry. There is sunlight. And there's even tall grass for the tortoises to hide in. This seems like the perfect home. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished!